Now, another question I get is, can I use SSH with any problem in my Mac? So it's not a problem, Mac OS correctly support SSH in the latest version. So here is my security key NFC where I have no, I've deleted all SSH account. And this is a test GitHub account where I have known SSH key. Now I'm going to create an SSH key resident and with FIDO2 in my YubiKey to show you how you see this and to show you that it worked perfectly inside your Mac. This is the instruction I've shown you in previous video is simply SSH keygen where I specify the ED 25519SK. So it's a elliptic curve uh, resident in, in uh, software in, in, in hardware key. So it is in a security key. It's a resident option, verify required. I ask for verification and for the application, I use the demo test name. So I'm press OK I press return. Um, Oh, I, okay, I entered the wrong pin. I need to type the, key, the pin. Now that I've typed the pin, I touch my authenticator and it asks me enter file in which to save the key. Um, I can use the default one, the, the default one is no any problem. And I can avoid to using a passphrase to protect the key because the key, the private key is really stored inside my hardware key, inside my YubiKey. key. So I don't need to add an extra layer of protection. So the key is there and I can verify with the file then now I have, okay, today, this is the new key I have created. This is a public key and this is a private key. So now I'm going to double click the public key and uh, you can open in any, uh, in any software. I'm opening in Visual Studio Code. So you can simply copy all the data, all the text that is inside the public key, then go inside your setting of your GitHub account, as an example, the section in which you, in which you can add SSH key. I add the key demo and uh, I'm going to press add SSH key. And so this SSH key is added to my GitHub account. Now to verify that everything is okay, I need to um, test it. And to test, you can use um, simple SSH command. Now to verify that your key is able to access your GitHub account, you can use the command SSH and you should use dash I to um, specify which key to use. And this is because if you look at my SSH folder, I have multiple key because I'm a developer. It's useful for me to have multiple key and I have multiple UB key. So um, if you want to test, you need to specify the, the key file and then dash capital T and git at github.com. This verify that this key is actually recognized by GitHub and is associated with the GitHub account. So I press enter. It detects that I have my security key. I need to enter the pin because I added the option to verify and then I need to touch my key and hi to master get. So it correctly recognizes the username associated to this SSH key. So as you can see, even in Mac, you can use the very same set of command because SSH is universal. So it's the same SSH key, key gen, and it's the same SSH dash E and dash E and, and other option I've show you in uh, um, Windows version is the very same and you should have no problem in using SSH inside a Mac computer. No problem. Bye bye. I'm waiting you for the next video of the series.